What's up guys, I'm Mr. Inferno, and um, just before we get into the video, I'd just like to say this real quick, that I really appreciate, we got to 130 subscribers, um, like, just yesterday at the time of the recording, so I really appreciate all of you who have subscribed, but sadly I cannot give you two new ones a shout out since I did not get notified of it, I just saw that the subscriber count went up, but I do really appreciate, you guys know who you are if you're watching this. And um, also, just really quickly, we do have the one-year anniversary of my channel coming up very soon at the end of July. And uh, make sure to stay tuned for that, especially if you're a frequent viewer of the channel, because I, me and Jumbo have a big surprise for you guys that I really, really think you guys will like. And uh, anyway, let's get right into the video. What's up, guys? I'm Mr. Inferno, and, um, well, we're actually not going to be playing a game today. This is going to be a different kind of video. You guys probably already saw the title. This is going to be five things that I personally really, really hope are in NHL 21. And uh, if you guys are a viewer of the channel or just literally just clicked on it and then saw my channel in general, you'll know I make a lot of NHL 20 videos. I really enjoy it. And um, hockey as a whole is a big part of my life, and I really enjoy it. And um, most of you are probably here because you are excited for 21 coming out soon. And, um, I actually have no idea when it comes out. Normally they come out around September, but obviously with the new consoles coming out later in 2020 or early 2021, um, that I, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if the new game's gonna be on the new consoles. I, that really wouldn't surprise me, and I can't really complain, um, because then that way if you, I mean, that would just make it where, like, if you want 21, you're not gonna buy the new console, it should be bad sales for them. So I can understand... If they are going to have it later in the year or early in 21. But um, anyway, here's five things I really, really hope will be in the game. So number five is going to be um, hits that can go over the boards or through the glass. And my first game was NHL 14 on the Xbox 360. And uh, if I remember correctly, I think it was 14 where you could put people like over the glass or through the glass and over the boards and I just remember that was like so cool because um I've done quite a few ones videos and um I don't know if any of them were on camera but I sometimes just play ones just because and I've hit people where they would have gone over the boards in 14 but instead they just like lay down in midair on the outside it's a weird it's like a glitch and it would just be so cool if we could have those kind of hits again. Because it would just make it so much more fun if you could, like, I don't know, if there's a guy coming down the boards and you want to hip check him. And then instead of him just, like, doing some sort of somersault, which is fine, too. But if you angle it right, he should go, like, flying into the bench or something. Or if you take a, like, if you're a big guy and you take a run at somebody smaller and put him through the glass, that'd be really cool. So that's number five. Number four is going to be consistent goaltenders, and uh, if you guys play NHL 20, like perf like normally it would be threes, um, that, threes eliminator specifically, and maybe ones, but normally it's threes more, where the goalies are just so inconsistent. You know, you'll have one goalie, let's say Lockhart is your goalie and King is the other goalie, you'll go down on like a two on O. Oh, and Lockhart, will, or not Lockhart, King will, like, dive over and make some spectacular save. And then next thing you know, the other team will go in on, like, a one-on-one -on -one and shoot it from, like, the middle of the ice, like, towards the red line or where the blue line would be, and it'll go in on your goalie. It's, it's, and I'm not saying it only happens to me. I've had some cheeky goals as well. I don't, probably some in videos with, like, Jumbo and stuff, but... I mean, it just is, it's bad. I mean, either make them both really bad, both really good. I would say probably pro difficulty or semi-pro at the lowest. I mean, don't do all-star just because I feel like if you do pro, pro's not too difficult to score on. Because um, I have some friends that are newer to games like NHL, and I mean, they could if you have it too high they wouldn't be able to score and they'd probably end up getting mad and end up quitting because it's just too hard for them to score and that way it balances out that way the the newer players will have a chance and yeah even if you're a veteran player I mean you'll still know what moves to do 
and what will go in most of the time. So I think Pro will probably balance it out pretty well if you can put them both. So number three, and this is a big one. If I get Shell 21, this is definitely going to be a series I'm going to do just because I really love the game mode. And um, and it's just it's so annoying how repetitive it is every year. So be a pro needs to be redone. And, I mean, I'm, I'm going to sound like a lot of you when I say this, but I really agree with these people when they, like, they don't want to – I mean – how do I explain this? Be a pro now is basically locking a position and then randomizing rosters. That's basically all it is. You know, I mean, you're playing... I mean, if you guys ever locked positions, you know what I'm talking about? It's practically the same thing. It's just that when you lock positions, you are always on the ice. But even then, you can sim to your next shift. So, I don't know. It's just... It's just too basic. And, um... And, like, Jumbo... He's a big fan of basketball, and he likes to play 2K a lot. And whenever I'm in a party with him, he'll be playing it a lot. And he says that in his Be A Pro, or just online in general. And this will take us into number two, which is open world um, kind of thing. And I play games like this, but, I mean, he I know he always talks about going around to different shops and, like, getting new clothes and building his brand, I guess, with interviews or something. I think that's a thing in the game. I feel like I've heard him say that before. And, like, you can, like, 1v1 people and 2v2 people, I think, um, if I'm not mistaken. So that would be really cool, though, if you could, like, have an open world. Maybe you're just in a small town in Canada or something. I mean, that's still something you can run around. And and maybe, and this is going to sound weird to people who haven't played the game, but... To people that play Call of Duty World War II, this is a game that comes to mind when I hear open world with this, because how it worked was whenever you go online, you would go to this, like, base camp kind of thing, where everybody could, like, run around and just kind of mess around, and there was not a lot to do, but definitely enough. I remember me and a couple of my friends would always try and, like, get on roofs and play hide-and-seek, and I remember there was, like a, like, a pit where you could go and 1v1 somebody... I mean, that's simple, but maybe take that as the base and then, like, add on to it. Add, like, shops that you can purchase. Maybe instead of um, earning hockey bags, you earn coins, and then those coins, you can go buy clothes or buy bags or something. I mean, that would be really cool. I would love that. And uh, being able to just run around with your friends in-game. and then in, But in, the, in Call of Duty, whenever you'd hit, for me, left trigger, people are going to have different buttons. But for me... It would pull up all of the different game modes you can play, and then you'd select your game mode. So it could be like threes, ones, pro am, drop in, whatever. And um, but unless you start that, uh, you can just run around. I mean, you can mess around. You can play hide and seek. You can try and get into weird like spots, like on roofs and stuff, and like try to glitch out of the map. And I don't know, just run around and buy clothes for your chill player. I mean, that'd be so cool. But uh, number one is definitely for me number one as cool as open world would be and as cool as be a pro would be and as nice as four and five would have been to have number one if i had to pick one would definitely be this one and that is cross play oh man i you have no idea half my friends actually probably more than half my friends that play chill all play on playstation and i personally cannot afford with an xbox and a playstation and so i mean in most of my like really good friends that I'm really close with are all on Xbox, so I stick with Xbox. And I've all that was I've never had a PlayStation. I've just always been kind of an Xbox. My cousins have Xboxes, but it's just I would love to have crossplay. And maybe you don't have to have like I mean I don't not asking for PC shell like Steam. I mean that'd be cool for people that don't have a console and would still want to play. But I'm. I mean, just being able to have Xbox and PS together would be amazing because, like, I struggle to find um, ESHL teams because a lot of my good friends that play Chell are on PlayStation. And, obviously, it's like me, Jumbo, and Snipe. I mean, that's 3v3. We've tried a video with it. It just never got posted. It was just not good. <laughs> just leave it at that. But being able to play with PlayStation people will be amazing. And, um... Man, it would just be really cool. So I really, really want crossplay. 
that would be the best thing for the game. And it would really, I, I bet that if they did cross-play with Xbox and PlayStation, it would, like, bring sales up. It just would. Because, I mean, people that, let's say, have a PlayStation and all of their friends play on Xbox, I mean, they're not going to probably want to get the game, or they'll want to get the game a lot more if they knew they could play with all of their friends who are on a different console. And, I mean, just... I mean, this is probably already a thing. I personally don't use it for chill just because all the people I play with are I'm in a party with. But game chat, you could just use game chat. <laughs> I mean, I, 99% of you, that's probably a thing. And, um, I mean, most games have it. So, but that would be amazing. Crossplay would be the best thing for the game. So, that will wrap it up for my uh, five things I want in Shell 21. I mean, I, I, I'm sorry it's a little bit short of a video. And um, it's also not the normal, typical game video. But I just really wanted to get a video out for you guys. It's been a week, and um, I've just been... It sounds weird, but I've actually not been able to record very much lately. It's just... I've had to scrap a lot of videos, and stuff just hasn't worked out. So, whether it be like I can't get into a game, or I can't get... Jumb like, Jumbo can't get on with me, or Snipe can't get on with me for a video... And, like, some videos are just too boring, so I don't post them. So you guys hopefully will understand. And I do apologize for not having videos out lately, but that'll wrap it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Mr. Inferno. Make sure to like, subscribe, share with your friends, and put in the comments what you guys want uh, for Chill 21. I mean, it can be one thing. It can be 15 things. I don't really care. I read the comments. I really enjoy being able to connect with you guys like that. And, um... Yeah, so make sure to uh, stay tuned, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.